All right, this is Mark of Sea Science Film Labs here with Jason of Faithful, Honest, and True Channel here on YouTube. Uh, we're here to discuss the living fossils. And take it away, Jason, what do you got to say? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Do you want to like start? What do you want to start with? Do you want to start sure. with the uh, pictures, your presentation? Yeah, show, it's better uh, you start with your presentation. All right. Um, I'll, I'll yeah, I, uh, I found this I fossil here. This is my, my own discovery. Uh, here in Western New York, we got, we've got the shale, you know, and a lot of marine fossil deposits around here. So but what's really great about this one is uh, there's crinoid uh, columnal segments in here. And those are the circles down at the south end of this fossil it would be uh, by the one you see a circle and then right below it there's another circle that's sort of cut in half with lines radiating from the center uh, there's also a circle at the top northeastern corner of this fossil would be uh, another crinoid columnal segment now these are just uh, little round circles that you find well this is the first one that i found so it's pretty special for me and i guess they're pretty common so but i was just out you know doing my thing and digging around and there was a fossil so these, uh, they come in many different shapes and sizes, these crinoid fossils. Um, they're basically the, the stalk, segments of the stalk of the sea lily. And these are animals that live at the bottom of the seabed, the bottom of the ocean on the seabed, seafloor. So they're pretty cool. And we'll watch a video later about that. But here's another one. This isn't one I found, but here's another example of the same uh, crinoids or crinoids that are uh, here in a fossil deposit, just all crammed together into a layer. Now, this, um, this I'm not sure where this, this discovery was made, but it was obviously in different sediment than the shale that I found this in. But I did some uh, research here, and the shale around the... Uh, Western New York area around the Allegheny region is claimed to be from the Paleozoic era and from the Ordovician to the Silurian. So they're claiming that my fossils that I found here are about 450 million years old, anywhere from 440 to 485 million years old, I think. So, you know, that's that's interesting. And these are living fossils. Now, a living fossil we've defined here as a living form that has remained essentially unchanged from their obvious ancestors we have found in layers. Evolutionists assume are of a fantastic age. These are um, animals that we live with modernly that we can also find in fossil form. Um, and there's many examples, mostly sea animals, because, well, 90% of the uh, fossil record, as it is, are of marine animals. So there's a good reason we find a lot of marine animals.
for many years, evolution um, proponents, um, evolution theory proponents, even geologists, um, this is the scientific community has said that it's taken hundreds of thousands of years to millions of years to create fossils for them to become mineralized. However, we recent, um, recent research has shown that this is not the case. So we've got some discoveries here that um, even predictions that creationists have made because creationists, we predict that fossils don't take hundreds of thousands of years or even hundreds or even millions of years. And in this case, with this fossil claiming hundreds of millions of years of time passing by with uh, the same muscles and the same crinoid, uh, uh, crinoid columnal segments, you know, that we can find modernly today at the sea floor of these shallow seas around the planet. So to this article, Forbes here came out with an article and I know this isn't nature, but the information that they post is from peer reviewed articles. So. Uh, scientists have cracked the mystery of how fossil concretions form. Now, concretions are, um, they're round rocks. They come in different shapes and sizes. But even at this beach here in this background, you see these rocks. Now, these, these could be concretions. In fact, are concretions in a lot of cases. So a lot of the uh, fossils that we, we uh, discover are at the beach and these washout areas. Okay, so what you have is uh, a situation where um, the whole of geology, uh, paleontology, the whole uh, scientific consensus is believed that um, these fossils or these uh, concretions take hundreds of thousands, even millions of years to form. but. You know, recent research has seen this is not the case because they find uh, fossils of fish like this. And this is inside of a uh, concretion, which obviously it wasn't spherical, but it was long like the fish was. But it seems like there's like an inch layer that just goes all the way around this fish, you know. And that's, that's really interesting. So how are these fossils formed? Well, it looks like they form pretty quickly. Um, you have this fossil, fossilized fish eating another fish. Um, <laughs> obviously, they were buried alive. Okay, so there's a few elements that go into fossil formation we've found. And one of them is that they have to be buried in enough sediment for it to cut off the oxygen and for it to keep the worms and the parasites and other things that would be getting down in there to eat that and consume it, you know? So you're talking about at least uh, four meters, four meters of sediment have to be covering them first off because that's how deep the worms go, you know? Secondly, you want to, you want to think of, it would be at the bottom of maybe a lake bed. So there would have to be water involved. Okay. Cutting off the oxygen completely especially you know there's water involved here because it's a fish. <laughs> so so these, um, back to the Forbes article here, uh, concretions are fascinating to geologists and rock hounds alike. All over the world, well-preserved fossils and crystals are frequently found inside of them. These roughly spherical rocks, the, the, Amaz the Mazon Creek fossil beds in Illinois are famous for the concretions found there which display well-preserved fossil plants have split apart. The Piranha Basin, Piranha Basin in South America has concretions containing fossil fish preserved in three dimensions, uh, providing unique snapshots of the past. Some of those fossils even show larger fish swallowing the smaller ones. And you know, this is this, is this article, this is, this is the photo that they're talking about, one of these uh, ones from the from the Piranha, Piranha Basin in South America. So this is pulled out of the Piranha Basin fossil deposit. It's not amazing. So they're wondering, you know, for a long time, they're wondering how are these even made? Uh, these these uh, concretions were just 
an anomaly that they just didn't understand some phenomena they didn't really understand yet you know so they were like well they form um takes hundreds of thousands even millions of years for them to form you know they're made out of rock so it takes that long for them to mineralize well now you know finding these discoveries and some research here it says researchers at nagoya university have analyzed dozens of concretions from three different sites across japan am i coming in clearly still is that a i gotta do a voice check here because i have a i have a decent uh connection issue yeah you're clear as i'd tell you if you want yep all right England and New Zealand. All right. So researchers at, at Nagoya University have analyzed dozens of concretions from three sites across Japan, England, and New Zealand, studying the chemical composition in a transect from the outer layers of the concretion towards the surrounding rocks. And the researchers were able to crack some of the open questions. The chemical composition shows also that indeed the fossils play a role in the origin of the concretions or the living forms inside of them play a role in the origin of the concretions the the uh yeah so the element calcium uh cementing smaller sedimentary particles together and forming the hard compact matter comes from the decaying organic remains so it's actually this uh the element calcium is given off by uh, the decaying animals and the decaying plants and it seeps into the sediment around it and this actually forms the matrix that these fossils are discovered in. So the, uh, the, 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 the rocks surrounding these, what were once living forms, uh, is, is actually cemented by the, the living forms or what were living forms themselves. So it's interesting. And, and what they've also discovered in this research, and more surprising were the results of the growth rates. Concretions were thought to take hundreds of thousands to millions of years to form. However, they instead apparently grow at a very fast rate over just several months to several years. So, and and here we have to understand that it must be even, you know, several months, even shorter in some cases, it seems. Uh, this new observation could also explain why the fossils found inside the concretions are so well preserved. But, uh, you know, creationists, we believe that these fossils form quickly for, for the, the entire time. You know, so this is a prediction made by us. Uh, fossils form quickly. Look at the flood. We believe that was 4,000 years ago. We believe that most, the majority of the fossils are created in that catastrophic event. So, and we've always believed that. Whereas evolutionists once believed that concretions and fossils took hundreds of thousands of years, even millions of years to form, to mineralize, okay? This is not the case. And we're finding that fossils actually form much quicker than they were believed to in the past. So.